Hello everyone. We have learned how to package digital avatar from the chat avatar in the previous video. This video will show you how to use plugins to import digital avatar into the Unreal Engine. There will be more import plugins in the future. Firstly, you need to search for chat avatar plugin in the Unreal Engine to obtain and install it into the engine. Open the Unreal project file and launch chat avatar plugin in the plugin bar, which is the main plugin for importing the model. If you want to use live link to drive model expression, you also need to launch the live link, Apple Arcade, and Arcade Face support plugin. At the same time, you need an Apple device and download live link face for expression capture. After launching the plugin, restart the project. Now you can find the chat avatar plugin function in the window bar. After clicking, you will open the chat avatar digital avatar import interface window. Next, I will demonstrate the import of each format. Click on the import button and select the zip file you downloaded from the chat avatar platform. After selecting, you will enter the settings interface. On the right side of the interface, you can see a preview image of the digital avatar in the selected package, or you can click on the preview image to view the keywords of the avatar. In the first settings interface, you first need to select the resolution of the texture you want to import, and then select the UV topology of the digital avatar you want to import. Note that the plugin will recognize the model and texture files in the selected package. If some files do not exist in the package, the corresponding options cannot be selected. If you have selected the metahuman topology structure, clicking next will directly start the import. After the import is completed, you will find the BP static head in the editor. This blueprint class instance is the model of the metahuman topology structure you imported. Now you can run the project in the editor to view the details of the model. If you choose default and click next, you will enter the second settings interface where you can add additional content to the digital human model you are about to import, which is consistent with the packaging process on the chat avatar platform. You can add body, eyes and teeth, lens shape, and backhead textures to your digital avatar. Note that multiple options can be selected in this step. After selecting them, click next to proceed to the final step of setting. The final step is to choose the driving method for your model. The live link face option provides emoticon driving for your model and the body control option provides operating methods for your digital avatar body. You can choose no or multiple options. After selecting, click confirm and wait for the import to complete. If you choose body control, you will find BP third person character C in the editor. Click RAM, the WASD and space on the keyboard can control character movement and jumping, and the mouse can control turning. For another option, live link face, you first need to ensure that you have launched the several plugins mentioned earlier and added the IP address of the PC in the Live Link Face software of the Apple device. After selecting Live Link Face, you will find BP Third Person Character LL in the editor. Open Live Link Face on your Apple device, run levels, and click the Tab key on the keyboard to control the character's expression. After the above steps, all the digital avatar models and textures you imported will be in the chat avatar folder in the project directory. Now that you have learned how to use plugin to import models into the Unreal Engine and drive the model, there will be more software import plugins in the future. Please stay tuned.